Welcome. Before we start, I have something special to share with you. If you want to support our work and the daily production of videos here on the channel, I've created an inspiring ebook, 30 Days with God to Transform Your Life. If you are interested, you'll find the link in the pinned comments below. Now, let's take a moment of reflection and inspiration with a special devotional design to prepare your heart and mind for the blessings this new day offers. Then, we'll join together in a powerful morning prayer to start your day with purpose and gratitude. Hosea 14 to 8 says, From me is thy fruit found. Our fruit is found from our God as to union. The fruit of the branch is directly traceable to the root. Sever the connection, the branch dies, and no fruit is produced. By virtue of our union with Christ, we bring forth fruit. Every bunch of grapes has been first in the root. It has passed through the stem and flowed through the sap vessels and fashioned itself externally into fruit, but it was first in the stem. So also every good work was first in Christ and then is brought forth in us. O Christian, prize this precious union to Christ, for it must be the source of all the fruitfulness which thou canst hope to know. If thou wert not joined to Jesus Christ, thou wouldst be a barren bough indeed. Our fruit comes from God as to spiritual providence. When the dew drops fall from heaven, when the cloud looks down from on high, and is about to distill its liquid treasure, when the bright sun swells the berries of the cluster, each heavenly boon may whisper to the tree and say, From me is thy fruit found. The fruit owes much to the root that is essential to fruitfulness, but it owes very much also to external influences. How much we owe to God's grace providence, in which he provides us constantly with quickening, teaching, consolation, strength, or whatever else we want. To this we owe our all of usefulness or virtue. Our fruit comes from God as to wise husbandry. The gardener's sharp-edged knife promotes the fruitfulness of the tree by thinning the clusters and by cutting off superfluous shoots. So is it, Christian, with that pruning which the Lord gives to thee. My Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Since our God is the author of our spiritual graces, let us give to him all the glory of our salvation. Now I want you to say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for the divine union we have with Christ. Just as a branch draws its life from the root, so do we draw our strength and fruitfulness from our connection with Jesus. Without you, Lord, we are barren and lifeless. But through our union with Christ, we are made fruitful, producing works that glorify your name. Help us to cherish this precious bond, knowing that all good works begin in you and are manifested through us by your grace. Lord Jesus, we acknowledge that without you, we would be like barren branches, unable to produce anything of worth. Remind us today to remain in you, the true vine, so that we may bear much fruit. Let us find our purpose and strength in our relationship with you. May we never take for granted the life-giving connection we have in you, for it is the source of all the spiritual blessings and fruitful works we experience. Keep us rooted in your love and grace. Gracious God, we recognize that our fruitfulness is also dependent on your spiritual providence. Just as the dew, the rain, and the sun nurture the trees, so do you provide us with everything we need to grow. You give us wisdom, strength, and comfort in times of need. Every blessing and every act of goodness in our lives is a testament to your provision. Help us to rely fully on your grace, knowing that without it, we cannot be fruitful or effective in our walk of faith. Father, we are grateful for your continual guidance and support. You supply all our needs, nurturing us with your word, comforting us in times of sorrow, and empowering us to do your will. Let us always remember that our ability to be useful and virtuous comes solely from you. May we give you all the glory for the fruits we bear, 
understanding that it is through your grace and provision that we can live lives that honor and glorify you. O Lord, you are the wise gardener who prunes us so that we may bear more fruit. We trust in your loving discipline, knowing that every challenge and trial we face is a part of your divine plan to make us more fruitful. May we embrace your pruning with faith, recognizing it as a necessary process for growth. As we yield to your perfect will, let our lives reflect your glory, and may we always give you praise for the spiritual graces you cultivate in us. Amen. If this message has blessed you, please type Amen in the comments below. For those who stayed until the end, I have a special gift. I've created an inspiring ebook titled 30 Days with God to Transform Your Life for just $8.9. It's a meaningful way for you to sponsor the work we do here on YouTube, and I believe it will be a great blessing to you. You can find the link in the pinned comments below. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel by sharing this video with a friend or family member who needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. We also invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. We want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you are not being prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.